all that dirty stuff, huh? last summer, bought it from a guy in Nebraska and had it shipped down. To the best of my knowledge, it hasn't been in the water since the year 2000. It's a six-wheel drive Alvis Stalwart MK2, 17,000 pound bullet-resistant cargo truck. Okay, and basically drive it off right up in the water? Drove it off the boat ramp, inspected it, made sure we were not taking on water, and then continued driving into the lake. Give me a little history on this truck. Uh, they were made in the 1960s and the 1970s for the British Army. The British Army was anticipating World War II to be similar to World War I in the respect that the bridges would be blown out and they would need to transport their cargo uh, through all terrain. So the Alvis Motor Company designed the Alvis Stalwart as a high mobility load carrier for the British Army. What about parts, pieces, something breaks down? What year is this? This is a 1968 model. Um, anything, any major part that breaks down would probably have to be shipped out of England. However, there are a few parts vehicles that I know of in the U.S. So I might be able to sweet talk somebody into selling me a part. How did you acquire it? I've been into army trucks for a long time. I saw it on the internet and decided I had to have it. And where did you find it? Here in Texas? Or? I'm sorry? Where did you, Texas or where did you find it? No, it was in Nebraska. How did you transport it back down? I uh, called a, a transporter and hired a truck and put it on the back of an 18-wheeler. Moved it down. And just driving around down here. Something like this, I mean, this is great for the Houston floods or something like that. I mean, Houston Absolutely. is one of <laughs> it, It's an all-terrain vehicle. It will go anywhere. And as we proved today, it can swim. Yeah, and climb over stumps underwater. <laughs> exactly. All righty. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.